Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and here we are. We're back on the business channel, and we're going to be talking about a very, very big topic to help out a lot of the smaller creators here on the platform. If you don't know who I am, I also have the channel ASK Vell. I have ASK Vell Reacts. I have Vell. I have other channels. I have, I have a lot of channels on YouTube, man. I have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, a billion plus views across all platforms. Like, I've been doing this for a while now, and... What people, what content creators who struggle, and they tend to do is like, they like chalk everything up to luck. And I want to point out how speed was not lucky. Speed was not lucky at all. And this is what you all have to understand that the content creators who really are different and they have these things that can't be replicated. Um, and that's, that's the thing that a lot of people are missing. Yes, there is consistency. Consistency is important, but I feel like that's where a content creator gets lucky. When you're not getting the viewership, when you're not getting the money, when you're not getting these things that, you know, keeps you pushing, what is keeping you pushing? Because that's what that's that's what's lucky, because let's say a content creator gets shouted out by a bigger streamer. If they don't stream the next day, how many of those people going to return? And if they don't if they don't um, stream the day after that, then how many people return? You know, it's like. It's not luck, it's consistency. If, if somebody shows up every single day, they're going to get the results. Like in speed, speed, like look at look at the numbers speed pours in. Like this is this is speed's channel. This is the numbers that he's bringing in. You think that this is luck? I feel like a lot of people got to put more respect on certain content creators because a lot of people on the platform can't do this or just won't do this. Now, like you got you got to really think about it. Like. It takes a lot to do what these people do. Like, like I mean, for real, like, yo, 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 oh my God. Like, bro, that is exhaust. That just exhaust. I just did it for like 10 seconds and that exhausted me. I'm not gonna be sitting around on YouTube doing that for hours and hours and hours every single day. Come on now, to consistently be able to keep up that energy, keep up that pacing, entertain, be willing to jump over cars and all type of stuff. That is what sets them apart because there's nothing stopping you from doing it. Maybe you can't jump over a Lamborghini or whatever my man's jumped over, but jump over your little Nissan. No, I'm not telling like, I'm not, I'm not want nobody to start doing random stuff that's dangerous, but you get my point, man. My point is that you could be being creative. You could be being innovative. You could be doing this stuff consistently, but the viewer is not there. You're not motivated to. You're not gonna come home and grind as if you got a million subscribers because you don't. And that's what makes people lucky because the, their discipline makes them lucky. Speed was on, he was streaming consistently. Kai was on streaming consistently. Aiden Ross got on streaming consistently. They started it, they stuck with it, and they didn't let go of it. They are still doing it consistently till this day. And that's the difference. Anyone, yes, there, there's a certain amount of luck to YouTube, but not lucky how you think. It's like you have to show up long enough and be willing to show up long enough for people to see you, start respecting you, and then once they like you, once they have seen you, you have to keep showing up and being entertaining, just as entertaining as the first day you saw them. So could I get on this camera and for an hour act just like Speed or act like Kai or go, do something crazy or bring on a rapper or something ridiculous on stream? Yes, I could do it for one day, but what happens on day two? What happens on day three? Could I keep that up? No, it's not who I am. I'm not that type of person, and I'm fine with not being that type of person. I approach YouTube in a completely different way, and I think that this is what people are not okay doing. People aren't okay approaching YouTube the way that they approach YouTube, the way that they would, you know, the way that they would. This is why, this is why I created my course. I created my course because everyone is not speed. Everyone is not KSI. Everyone is not these people who have these insane personalities that cannot be replicated. Certain people just have things that cannot be replicated. But a lot of YouTube can be understood. A lot of, you can find out what people find fascinating about you, what people enjoy about you, what people like about your channel, what people dislike about your channel. You can find 100% of the information to make your channel successful for you. I feel like a lot of people are not actually knowledgeable about how to do that. It doesn't take luck. It doesn't take you being speed or Kai. It doesn't take any of that. Like it takes you understanding what 
it means to make good content. And I'm not talking about good content for Speed or Kai. I'm talking about good content for you. Good content for you is not the same as good content for them because what people expect or love to see from you is going to be different from what they love to love to see or expect from someone else. And that's why YouTube is really about you. And this is why it's really not luck. These people who get on YouTube and they just be themselves consistently and put all this energy and effort into growing and, and being themselves while they grow, it's tougher than you may realize to do that. Because what about the days where you're not feeling well? What about the days where you don't really feel like doing it? To still get on there and do it anyway, that's discipline, that's determination, that's passion. That's That can't be taught. Because people can say, oh, they got lucky, they got shouted out. How long was they streaming before they hit their lucky day? You, you don't wanna talk about that. They showed up every single day before they got lucky. And then every single day after they got lucky. That don't sound like luck to me. You show up every single day, you bound to get lucky one of them days. The thing is, most most people, most of y'all ain't gonna show up every day. Most people don't show up every single day. And I can tell you all from experience, the channels that I have blown up the most when I'm getting tens and, and hundreds of millions of, of, of um views and stuff like that, it is always without fail, always without fail when I'm at my most consistent and I'm grinding every single day i have never had like out of all my channels out of all my tens and hundreds of millions of views i have never had one where i can just inconsistently post and and just start getting crazy results just randomly post when i feel like it i've never been one of those content creators so i can't speak from that perspective are there content creators who are a real anomaly that is like a one in a million content creator who can do whatever they want yeah those content creators exist i've never been one of them so I can tell you my highest moments, my most successful moments have all, it's always been when I'm showing up every single day. I mean, no days off, no breaks, no slowing down, just go. Go nonstop, work hard. That's when I see the most success. That's when I've seen the most growth. That's when I've had the most results. And I can also tell you as someone who has a habit of stopping after I see those results, anytime you try to pick it back up, it don't really work out the same way. So with, if you miss your moment, you can't always get it back. So, and I've done that multiple times. And I know you probably think, yo, why don't you stop? That's because I've invested, I've been trading, I've worked on other business, I do other things. So I don't have to sit here and try to be the biggest and best YouTuber in the world. I don't need to be. I know how YouTube works. And at this, it took me over 10 years to figure out how YouTube works. So truthfully, all the time and effort I done put into YouTube, I don't have the energy to do what it takes to be the biggest YouTuber. That's why I make videos like this. One of you might, one of you might be willing, because if I had all the information I have right now, when I was a beginner, I would be at 10 million subscribers. I would, I would be at 100 million, I would be at something crazy, but I didn't have all this information. And then by the time I got all this information, I'm chill, I don't really care to, I, 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 my businesses are fine. I'm running my businesses fine, I'm doing well. So I don't care to, you know, do some of the things that somebody young, hungry, you know, trying to get it for the first time, you're willing to put your all into it. And that's why I made my course for people like that. People like that who it will really help take you to the next level and push you over the top as a content creator because now you don't have to spend 10 years learning what I could tell you in a few hours. That That's just really what it comes down to. And that's why I also off, offer personalized coaching so I can literally walk you through your channel and tell you exactly what you're doing well, exactly what you're not, and exactly what you need to do to start matching some of the people that you wanna be peers with and you wanna start making content alongside. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to I just wanted to break down this whole this whole myth that, you know, people are really just getting lucky out here. You gotta hope and pray for success and all of that. No, no one who's gotten lucky has really gotten lucky. They were just there every single day. So the day that some big streamer saw, they were bound to be seen by a big streamer eventually. They show up every day. Like you you go you go you go to um go to Miami go to Miami and walk down the street every single day. I guarantee you one of them days you're running into a celebrity. That's what it is. It's, you didn't get lucky. 
you're there every day. You're going to run into a celebrity. You show up every day. So don't sit here and think that this is luck based. You have to, you don't have to take the same approach these people took. See, what people talk about is, oh, this is the shout out that made this person. That is the shout out that made that person. No, the fact that they streamed consistently before that shout out and the fact that even after that shout out, they stayed consistently streaming, that is what made that person. Their work ethic. That's just when you started respecting the amount of subs they had. And that's, that's when you start coming back. That's when you start seeing their name everywhere. They had a fan base long before that. They was putting in work long before that. And a lot of people don't respect that. A lot of people don't understand what it takes to really be successful. It's easier to chalk it up to luck because then you can sit back being lazy and you don't got to feel too bad because you know, uh, maybe it just wasn't meant, on, meant for me to get lucky. No, people are working their ass off and you're just lazy. That's what it is. It's no luck to it. Can you show up every day? Do you take the time to put in effort to understand what you're doing well and what you're not doing well? Do you invest in yourself? I don't have the only course on YouTube. There's a lot of courses that may help you. I know for certain mine will help you, but I don't, I don't know. Like there's other courses, like there's other things that you could be doing to invest in yourself, to learn, to, to grow and to become better. Are you doing everything that you can to be successful? Don't sit here and chalk stuff up to luck when it's not that at all. It's really not that at all. And the thing is, Kai can't tell you how he became successful. Speed can't tell, like these people who didn't have to sit here and analyze things and learn all the stuff that I know, and st all they had to do was show up every day and be themselves because they have those personalities that's just magnetic and people want to be around them and watch them and hang out with them. Like that's the type of personalities these people have. Some people are just magnetic people. If you're not that type of person, or me personally, I feel like I can be that type of person, but I can't be asked to do that every day. I get tired. Like if I see somebody every single day, I'm gonna be tired of entertaining you, bro. I'm gonna be tired of being super, super energetic. It's like, bro, we just did that yesterday. At a certain point, I'm gonna be like, nah, bro, I'm chilling. I'm taking a break. I'll be back in a week. I'll be back in two weeks. I'll be back in a month. Like at a certain point, I'm just going, nah, nah, I'm done. I'm, I'm chilling. I, I gotta, I'm taking a break. See, like, and that's the difference. This is why I will never be a speed. This is why I will never be a KSI, but this is why I'm well aware of who I am. And I've adopted my business model around me. The biggest mistake a lot of you all make is you're trying to be speed or KSI or Kai Sinat or anybody else. When the only thing unstoppable on YouTube is you. No one else can be you. But if you're trying to be them, no one gives a shit about you because they already exist. You have to learn how to optimize you and be the best you possible. That's what's going to get you success on YouTube. No luck involved at all. But yeah, that being said, let me know what y'all think. Let me know in the comment section what else y'all want me to speak on. Check out the course if you all want to. It is a resource here to help you. Check out the coaching if you want it. I mean, not mandatory, but it definitely will help. And I can guarantee you that. But yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.